Robin eggs are busting, and I don't want to hear an argument from anyone else. They are the best holiday themed candy, okay? Listen, out of all the commercialized sweet treats that come around the holidays, with all your Reese's bats and little Debbie Christmas trees and empty, lifeless, hollow chocolate jumbo bunny. Oh my gosh, and you nom, wonder nom, why nom, America's a nom, suspect nom, for obesity. Nom, nom, but nom. I have my own personal bias. No matter how much I can rag on the massive garbage amounts of candy there is, one stands above them all as, I think, the crown jewel. Robin eggs. What's special about them? Absolutely nothing. Artificially flavored. <laughs> Disgusting. I mean, I don't even like normal waffles. The very first candy I'd think about would be, I don't know, a payday? But there's just something so fun about Robin X. I mean, when you got the normal Whopper, you got a basic little, uh, well, rodent turd. That's pretty much it. But Robin Eggs, they're just so colorful and pretty. It's just such a unique, smooth shape. I don't know what's so appealing about it. The tame pastel colors, the speckled polka dots, the smooth casing that makes you just want to stick it in your mouth and suck it for a bit. Shoot. But I, what I love most is what they come in. Little frickin' milk cartons. There's no reason. There's no reason for it to come tiny little milk cartons. But they do. And it's and it's frickin' adorable. I drink Robin eggs. Don't even chew. It's a miracle I haven't choked yet. Look how many I swallow. Bird pun. It's a bird pun. It's a bird pun. It's a bird pun! I'm funny! What? Now, I must ask. How did the Robin eggs ever come to be? I mean, surely no one was thinking, Oh, yeah, Whoppers? Uh, what, what, okay, uh, yo, Whopper, Whopper fam. Uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, we don't, we have absolutely no holiday, uh, like, like, like we, we, we're pretty much, like, bottom of the bin candy, like, we're, like, the least talk about candy. I, I, we're pretty much overrun by Reese's and Kit Kats and pretty much everything. Like, what, 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 what we got for the holidays? Like, what, what are we supposed to do? Like, we got, we got, like, a little, like, little ball. Little, little, little brown ball. Like, what, what are we supposed to do with this? In 1939, the Overland Candy Company, I have a company, introduced a predecessor to Whoppers, a malted milk candy called Giants. Overland merged in 1947 with the Chicago Biscuit Company Leaf Gum and Lattes. Then they rebranded sometime later to Whoppers, and then everything was purchased by W.R. Grace. Then finally, Hershey's took it over in 1976, and those babies had it ever since. And then sometime in between 1950 and 1952, they came up with an egg-shaped Whopper and called it the Mini Robin Eggs. That's it? But why Robin Eggs out of all things? But like, like out of everything for Easter, Robins. Robin, I, I mean, I guess Robins are a sign of spring, I guess, but why not chick eggs? Why Robins? I, 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 who came up with the Robin Eggs Whoppers? Nine things you should know before you eat Whoppers. They used to be super cheap. Yeah? Yeah, I know. But you're really just saying everything I've said. You, you, wow, this, this video seems completely pointless. All right, cool. I don't care. I'm posting it anyways. Robin Egg Gang for Life. Apparently the way they make it is so top secret, even though it's just been described as literally having a vacuum sucking on a malt ball. Wow, there's been a lot of sucking in this video. Probably because this video sucks. Do you shut the f*** up? Also, you shut the f*** up! Get you, a little bit. you shut the f*** up! You shut the f*** up!